happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Stony Sunday. Happy Stony Sunday. Stony Sunday Halloween. It's a costume party today. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. It actually takes a little bit longer than I expected to become a full princess in the morning. Um, but hi, it's me, Princess Peach, and... It's a me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you did it. Oh my gosh. We are in our full costumes um, and we're going to be getting super stony. Um, thanks for joining us, of course. It's kind of sad because it's our final stony Sunday of October and we have done pumpkin bongs all month. So today we're doing costumed pumpkin bongs. Obviously they have to be in costume as well. It is our final pumpkin bong sesh of the month. <sighs> it's been fun. I'm it's gonna, been so fun. I'm gonna be sad to see the pumpkin bongs go for a year, but keeps them special. That's true. It's it's. I mean, and we did really stretch it out. We've made pumpkin bongs for five weekends of October, um, and then starting next month in November, Stony Sunday is gonna be every second Sunday. So you can join the live stream every second Sunday of the month. We'll be getting super stony. Yep. Probably not in costume anymore <laughs> until next October, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that I will see you again in like two weeks or something. Yeah. I'm going to drink some iced tea and we're going <laughs> to get really stoned. <clears throat> Ooh. We love our little mushroom bongs. Let's get them carved up. Yeah, they're pretty cute. It's time to power up. Time to power up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Um, please definitely tell us where you are live and watching from. I see Montana checking into the sesh. I was going to scroll and then I realized I can't. My gloves are not scrollable. So <laughs> I will try to read as fast as I can as y'all are saying where you're watching from. Um, oh, we have long time reefers here too. Hi, long, long time reefers. 10 years. We just celebrated the 11th birthday of Stony Sunday this month. So thank you for being here, whether you're a long time reefer or a brand new reefer. It's all the same. We're all getting stoned, so let's fucking do that. I'm going in. Yeah. I don't know if I even want to carve in my fancy gloves. Prince, does yeah, Princess Peach carve her own pumpkin? You can carve your pumpkin. I feel like I would just... <laughs> and then a pumpkin would be handed to me. We're going to be smoking right <gasps> through the mushroom. Oh my gosh. Why can't we just do vertical? I don't think it's going to be long enough. Uh, I don't know. Okay. It's risky. Okay, you, you are the plumber here you <laughs> handle where the pipes go I think we're going right through the mushroom here. we've got australia checking in monterey i love that those two places like one's really close and one's like as far as we could be <laughs> it's so fun worldwide worldwide reefer sesh that's oh my gosh i can't even watch it's too much it's too much um i think this might be one of my favorite costumes we've ever done together I like it too. I've had a lot of fun with it. You wore it to work even without me. That's how much you liked it. It wasn't <laughs> even like, it's nice that on your own, it's a good costume. And then together, it's like, we're even better. Yeah. It's so fun. And everybody at my work really got a kick out of it. I love dressing up. Even when I'm waitressing on Halloween, I would always be in costume. Last year, I was a deviled egg working at a breakfast restaurant. So that was a lot of fun. We didn't have deviled eggs, but like we have a lot of eggs. You know what I mean? Like, we don't serve deviled eggs for breakfast, but, like, there's a lot of eggs, and then I'm an egg with devil horns. <laughs> so that was last year's costume. Oh, could we, could I be Zelda next year? Um, I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out. Someone else put in a request that I was, like, going to jot that down, too. Um, I love the request. I am so tempted to just do costumes every weekend for the rest of the year. And then I remember how hard it is, how expensive it is, and how much work I asked my husband to be involved with. And I don't think we're going to do it every weekend. <laughs> we'll keep it special, like the pumpkin bongs. Look at you go. Boom. Oh, my God. That was fast. It's been like three minutes, and we're done. Oh, my God. Right through his head. <laughs> okay. I love it. That's a great one. Can that one be mine, maybe? Sure. I just need to... You uh, gotta do the mouthpiece. You gotta be watered. Yeah, and I gotta out. put inside down the stem out. But. Pumpkin bong carving. Oh, we forgot the pumpkin bong tips. You can keep carving. I'm okay. gonna just... I'm gonna help as best I can. <laughs> if you haven't made a pumpkin bong before, or even if you have, but you want a full of our tips, I like to start all of the October live streams 
with a couple of suggestions. You can see as Mio, Ma Mio, <laughs> has begun, it's like we don't, we don't carve it out anymore. We don't empty it. We don't gut the pumpkin. It's literally just two holes, the bowl piece hole and then one for the mouth piece. It gets a much better seal than if you actually carve the whole thing around. I'm not about that. It's way harder to get, I think, that good pumpkin rip when you do that kind of like jack-o'-lantern method. No, leave that for the jack-o'-lanterns when you're going to put a candle inside. And if you're going to put water inside, just do the down stem and the mouthpiece. From there, it's really just so simple. We're gonna just put some water in there. You wanna rinse out the downstem, put, like put it in once to make sure it fits and then rinse out the downstem because it's gonna be full of pumpkin pulp. And you don't wanna smoke the pumpkin pulp. We do leave the seeds inside, which makes like extra percolation. I mean, you do you. If you have to gut it and get rid of the seeds, then go for it. But for me, I think this method has been more successful in the last couple of years for some really huge bong rips. I'm so about it. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I was saying last week that maybe we could do something with the seeds afterwards and they'd be like extra stony. And a lot of people were very against that idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't do it. That's not why, but we didn't do it. Um, I still am a holdout that I think you could get fucked up on them. I really do. I really do think that. And just putting it out there in the universe if someone else wants to try. I love that there's an M on your hat and that you're Mio. Like, this is just so funny. This is like, yeah, it's my favorite for sure. I think the Ariel and Prince Charming or Prince Eric one, we got like kind of close. Like, we did it, but we didn't like do the next level. This is next level. <laughs> we did um, like the, what did it, well, he did it. He cut us out and put us actually into some of the Mario levels and some of the Mario pictures. If you want to go and see that on our social media feeds, there are a bunch of pictures. And then today I posted the bong hit ones, which are my favorite of the series. I love that they're like, we have the Mr. and Mrs. Bong and then we got to hit those <laughs> bongs while being in costume. I just think it's so cute. I um, absolutely love it. Tonight, I don't know. Are we going to stay in costume all day? No. I mean, I'm not. It's yeah. too hot. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm going to take off my gloves to make this block. I did mention on One Network, but I will mention again. I think it's really strange and inappropriate to comment on people's bodies um, in any way. I think it's super weird. Um, I just think it's super weird. For people that are concerned, we are not physically accurate to Mario or Peach. I do want to clarify, I am not six feet tall. I hope I haven't um, confused anyone by playing a character on Halloween that is six feet tall. Just as my husband doesn't have to be Luigi just because you perceive him to be thinner than Mario. I think it's really weird. I think it's super weird when people go that route with costumes. If someone's enjoying themselves, if we've literally been sitting here telling you it's our favorite costumes and we're having a really good time, I kind of think it's wildly inappropriate kind of self-centered and kind of fucking weird to tell us that our bodies don't fit our costumes. Please don't do that. Anyway, let's get back to getting stoned. Coincidentally, Mio was not here for that little rant, but he was just rinsing out the down stems. <sighs> I think it's, I just think it's a shame that when we want to be here to share, to celebrate, to bring joy, to have fun, to get fucking stoned on pumpkin bongs, people see it as an opportunity to say our bodies don't fit their, fit their perspective what they want. Like, that's just, that's not what we're here for. That's not what we're here for. That's not what we're here for. I don't think I can say it more loudly, but I do start screaming it a little bit when it happens to involve my partner, my husband, my perfect Mario, because I have been objectified for long enough from all of y'all. That's fine. But to objectify my husband and put his body on some weird little like stage that you get to pick apart and decide whether you like this or that, you fucking know, bro, fucking no. So anyway, that's how I feel about that. I'll be down. I'll fight someone. If they keep saying that shit, I'll fight them. <laughs> Princess Peach coming in. Watch out. He'll save me from anything, but I'll fucking defend him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Back to okay. pumpkin bongs. Back to the pumpkin bongs. Um, I do think that there's something going wrong with 
our live stream and either I scared everyone away by saying don't talk about our bodies that would make me really sad or it's literally just going to show us we have no streamers with us whatsoever I even feel like though it the said chat's that working since the beginning yeah <laughs> so I definitely would love some comments to make sure that we're not talking to ourselves I see you all saying stuff but for sure like for sure are we still alive what if I got censored for talking about not body shaming <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Okay. We've lost the main plot. Let's get back to getting stoned on some pumpkin bongs with Mario and Princess Peach. Yay. Thank you. Okay. Y'all are here. I see you. I don't know why it says zero. I'm going to just ignore that the whole time and we'll just keep getting really stoned. Thanks for filling out. Is this one already have water in it? No, not yet. Oh my God. It's so perfect with the mushroom. Do you have your phone? Can I take a picture while we do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take off my glove and get this set up because you are setting up a lot over there already. Thank you. We're gonna multitask, y'all. We're gonna multitask. Also, like I generally, I'm not, oh my gosh, on the block thing. That person that I blocked, they've been blocked on other pages. Like it's weird when I see people's names pop up where I've already asked you to please stop. Um, and then you think, well, they didn't ask on this page, so it's okay. So if you think, wow, that was really quick, wow, that was really harsh, please understand, I am in fact a human being with a lot of reasoning, and I am able to make specific decisions. So if it didn't happen to you, I didn't want to block you. Don't worry about it. We're good. We're chill. But if you're someone that's already been told, I don't like how you speak to me, and then you come in here talking about my partner, it's going down. It's going down. Um, okay, this is fucking sick. We, I, the only thing I wish we could have done better for this live stream, y'all, I tried so hard and we just couldn't pull it together before the stream, was a green screen background so we would actually be in Mario. Apparently, the streaming software we use doesn't, doesn't have a click, click, click and do that. Um, I'm just starting to use the software this month. This was my first time I wanted to do that, and now I know. So I still think by next year, I think we should have that figured out. And whatever our costumes are next year, I think we should for sure, like, be immersive. I'm on board. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking for, like, three hours. Just are you to get here these pumpkins still? ready. <laughs> are you here? Okay. I think we're ready. Yay! Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh. Oh, we even have a button clicker. I'm going to click this with my toes. If you're out there and you like to hear that, there's that for you. To my phone? I don't know. Turn oh. your... Oh, yeah. So oh, auto connect. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. We got... Don't lose your crown. Um, I do see a technical question coming in. What software are we using to stream? I'm so new to some of the newer... I mean, this stuff is not new, but like I'm new to doing anything other than just direct streaming from YouTube. But this month, we started using OBS and then also Restream, which connects us to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. I really wish I had started doing that years and years ago. Um, I don't want to get too emotional, but I have a lot of imposter syndrome mixed in with a lot of self-doubt, mixed in with a lot of... I don't want to rock the boat if something's already working, so sometimes I'm slow to change something if it seems like it's working. Even though it seems like I'm doing a thousand things at once, sometimes I kind of am very stubborn in a weird way. So anyway, I wish I had checked out other streaming editions in the last like five years or more, but I finally got it together. Um, I do see you guys mentioning like the chroma key and said so we'd actually have to have a full green screen to do that. We don't, and I don't necessarily want to invest in that or have to store it when I'm not using it. Um, but Zoom, Skype, I mean, TikTok, a lot of the other apps will just have a, like, you can see we are faces, and they'll cut us out and put us onto a backdrop. And that's kind of what I was hoping that OBS would have, but they don't. I don't know if anyone else is interested in that. <laughs> but we do have a question for Mio of where did you get the hat? I got the Mario hat at spirit halloween but and they didn't have in gloves. the kids section oh they did have what oh not they didn't my have gloves. gloves yeah we had to get mine somewhere else but you got your hat <laughs> but, and gloves together yes and mine was <laughs> only another available in gloves. the kids section oh. i have relatively small hands the gloves it's possible they fit me for the costume <laughs> this um, is really like oversized on the kids but yeah but the 
the hat fits great. Look at you. It works. So, works yeah. Out. No, I think it looks great. I was really committed to just putting an M on a red hat. I have a cricket. I was like, we can do vinyl. Let's just do that. And he was like, I want the real one. And yeah. I was like, okay, like whatever. I mean, you can tell I bought some things in my costume, so why not? <laughs> I'm really glad you did because it, it looks great. Yeah. It's way better than just the vinyl on there. It's like the right shape and everything. Yeah. It's fucking sick. Um, what are we smoking? That's or... a great question. Y'all are coming through with the fire questions. Thanks for keeping us focused. I'm a little distracted, all dressed up and hitting a mushroom. I'm just on the cloud nine. What are we smoking? I was going to say, for my Princess Peach, we are smoking the Peach Flambe. That's me! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> for your Princess Peach. <laughs> Peach Flambe! Why is it called that? Uh, Am I getting royalties as Princess Peach? <laughs> can you all see that? I think they can. Oh yeah, it's focused. It does kind of have like a sweet peachy aroma it when does you smell crack good. the nugs open. It's like um like fresh peach. Yeah. I mean I know it's called peach flambe, which would generally have like a lot of sugar and like mm. added, but I feel like to me it's this like is a like a juicy. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Oh, it's already ground up. It's already, it's already in ground there. Up. It's wow. Ready. Okay. And then okay, gotta remember I'm gonna hit the thing with my toes <laughs> to get the pictures. Can I do the lighter with the gloves? I think so. We've been talking forever, not smoking enough. Let's see, are we lined up? We're gonna do this? We good? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we have a birthday reefer joining us. Happy birthday Happy to birthday, you! Yeah. Happy birthday to all the October baby reefers. Oh, don't pack down with the glove. Don't pack <laughs> down with the glove. It ripped. Oh, we got the toker <laughs> poker with the packer, like, right on it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to hit it again. I'm going Go in again. And finish this bowl up. Just always, always rip. So we're smoking peach flambe for Princess Peach. I do see some comments coming in about when there's coral reefer strains or coral reefer cannabis. Let's talk about it for a second. <coughs> it, it is the coral <coughs> reefer brand. They have kind of <coughs> teal and white and beachy um, aesthetic and branding right now. That Coral Reefer brand is owned by the Jimmy Buffett Company. Jimmy Buffett, if y'all don't know where the fuck you've been, he is, how do you even describe him? He's like a white guy that sings like Calypso music. Yeah. But he's been doing it like for like ever. Yeah. Like yeah. if you don't know who Jimmy Buffett is, ask your parents or their grandparents or your grandparents and they might know. And for the record, Jimmy's still touring, rocking it. We went to some Jimmy Buffett shows. He's fucking killer on stage. He kicks off, he kicks off his shoes and his fans take home his shoes. Like everything he does, the parrot heads are obsessed with for good reason. He really is is so engaging. Yeah. So it's a whole experience. It's not just going to listen to music. It's Yes. Uh, the show is it an experience on its own hard right turn my parents were not fans i was not named after that my name is coral they did want to name me coral reefer my mom was like no not even coral reef is okay so we went with just coral which i mean i can't even imagine if children had been given the opportunity to know that my middle name was reefer so thank god my mom was sober already but my dad was like it'd be so sick so when i did start blogging i was like oh in homage to that really stoned idea i'm gonna call myself coral reefer but my parents were not doing buffet fans they actually just liked coral and reef they would like <laughs> scuba around reefs and stuff and they liked getting stoned on reefer prior to my mom becoming sober. Um, so my entire life, I have kind of had to have that explanation of like, oh, were you named after the band? And I'd be like, no, but like, they're kind of cool. I don't know, I don't have anything wrong with the band, but I'm not named after them. Then when I started blogging, it came up a little bit, but not very much. Just a couple of years ago, maybe like three years ago, yeah. 
three yeah three years ago because I think it was after our engagement but before our wedding they got in contact with me um and I got to go we got to go and we were on a float of the coral reefer brands at the 2019 pride parade in San Francisco that was absolutely incredible a dream come true that's one of the biggest pride celebrations around the world it's I mean that was incredible yeah, it was a lot of fun. it's not my brand it's not <laughs> one that I profit on and there's no reason for me to profit on it um that brand puts out a lot of vaporizer cartridges right now and I think they have some tinctures and oils and they're primarily, from what I understand, in Florida, maybe in Colorado, and I think that they're looking to expand into other states as well, from what I remember when we talked to them a few years ago. Again, I have no issue with that brand. They've been nothing but friendly to me, but we are not professionally or financially affiliated in any way. When it comes to an individual strain called Coral Reefer that does not share that branding, does not have anything associated with the Jimmy Buffett company, those ones i think are a little more sketchy those ones i don't know where they come from i definitely wouldn't vouch for them i definitely wouldn't um be complimented if i somehow i'm supposed to be involved um and if you want to know direct from this not horse but person's mouth i don't plan to release a coral reefer strain that's not something that would feel right for me should mio and i ever grow and develop genetics and have a strain to release We've already talked about other ideas that we would want and other um, inspirations that we would bring beyond my screen name. So it's one of those things that um, I think it's cool. It's definitely not a strain that has always anything to do with me. I'm not dumb. Like the strain exists. It's in books. It's in books out there. But that's not what I was named after. I don't think that's what the Jimmy Buffett band was named after. The Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer band. Um, and I think it's just one of those things that like, it sounds good. We all got a good idea. Doesn't mean we're all connected. Um, and to wrap up the story, there was one time where someone did straight up steal from me. They did straight up put my screen name, numbers attached, one word, and they sold that product to different dispensaries, which means that they profited directly on creating a product and selling it for profit. Um, and then told me that it was to welcome me to the area when I was visiting somewhere I had already lived, actually, and visited quite a few times and feel pretty at home at. Um, and they told me it was a compliment. I did pursue confrontation until I got them to donate all of those profits to an organization of my choosing that was fighting for advocacy of cannabis. Um, do I believe that they actually donated 100% of profits? No, I do not. Do I trust that company? No, I do not. Um, but again, that was a very specific circumstance in a very specific area. It was limited to that one city. And that was like seven years ago or something, six or seven, eight years ago. It was a while ago. So since then, I haven't really seen any strains come up that like even have anything to do with me. That's not the connection. But if you're smoking on it, I love it. I'm a little scared because it's like you're hitting coral reefers. So it's like, uh, I don't love it. But <laughs> I do know that there is an entire brand about it. And they are legitimate. As far as I can tell, they've been awesome. They've been friendly. I have no reason to have any issues with them. The individual strains... Okay, but we're going back. I'm back to peach now. <laughs> we're going to smoke some peach flambe. <coughs> How's your pumpkin, pumpkin bong hitting? This should week? we switch? Or no, because you pack it. Well, should we switch? Can we just switch both pieces? Yeah, should, let's do it. It's ripping, but like, why not switch? <laughs> okay. I would love to try actual coral reefer, the strain that was, I think it's in one of Ed Rosenthal's books. It's in one of those, like, big strain guides from, like, yeah. before I ever even started blogging. And, like, I would love to find the actual genetics if they were traceable. Like, does the pot have its papers? Like, I want to <laughs> know. I'm not, I'm not against it. I would try it, but that's, that's all I got to say on that. Okay, let's smoke some please. I think that one rips fatter. Or I just didn't light this one enough. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Oh, have to die. Yeah, I was thinking this one feels like it has like a bigger like chamber, which I guess makes sense for the shape, but <laughs> I did it. I ripped it. Oh, 
I just remembered I forgot to tell y'all something, and I've been talking this whole time. You forgot too, though. I did. Huh. Whew. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, we're not having a cough. I'm going to just move on. No coughing. I did tell someone to join the live stream recently, and they would see that I cough all the time, but I'm going to power through this <laughs> one. Ahem. <clears throat> Here we go. I have a reefer discord. The discord has been live and active through part of my Patreon page for a while now, but I closed down my Patreon page in the end of September. We closed it down for a number of reasons, but it's not reopening. And I want to actually open up the discord to any other reefers that would want to join. If you don't know what discord is, easily searchable. Um, I don't want to ramble too long about it, but it's basically a different type of social network or a forum. It's a great place for gaming fans to connect and get a lot of facts and a lot of questions answered really quickly. Um, there's different niches, like you guys have a Discord for trans mask. Mm -hmm. um, so people can connect in different common interests or common lived experiences and share. Just share pictures, share questions, share answers, share whatever. So the Reaver Discord, we sometimes post our pet pics, we post our plant pics, we'll post what we're smoking on. And it can be a great area for people that maybe don't want to talk about cannabis on their public social media. Maybe you like engaging with my cannabis content, but you're not comfortable posting your own pictures on your own profile. On the Discord, it's going to be a closed group. So only the members can see what's shared. They are not allowed to share outside of that Discord. If that happens, you can always tell me. We'll remove that person, get that post removed. And it's just kind of like a little space for reefers. So I will not be posting the link in a big public place. <coughs> that doesn't cause a cough. That was just a dry throat. I was talking too much. Um, uh, the link itself, you will have to reach out to me directly. That way I can keep this a pretty small and tight knit group. So you can DM me on any number of my accounts on Instagram. You can also DM me on Twitter through any number of the accounts. Unfortunately for this stream, I don't have messages enabled for YouTube or Facebook where you are watching this. I know that may be a little awkward but those messages do become unmanageable on Facebook and YouTube and a bit spammy so to cut down on any spam reflex bot I heard the word discord and now I want a link type thing just go find me on another network send me a message saying I want to join the discord I heard there's a discord discord question mark however you want to phrase it be chill we'll join and it'll be really fun um, I think we have like a hundred something members right now or so on the discord but there are times where it's more active and times where it's quiet. So it can kind of be one of those things you jump on and off whenever you maybe are looking to socialize a little bit or you just can ignore it for weeks at a time and no one really cares. You don't have to check in often. It's just whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to justify my cough. Y'all should know I'm a proud cougher. I was just making a joke because I really felt like that hit was so smooth. I didn't cough at all. And I still want to stand by that. <laughs> But overall, I am for sure a cougher, like... Without hesitation, for sure. Yeah. And... I think it's good to know, cough. We've with traveling, it can be awkward. It's really good to cough. We've read that in books. It's good to cough. It sloughs off unhealthy cells and encourages healthy cell regeneration in your lungs. So, there you go. Cough it out. Cough it out. Yes. Thanks for packing these up. Look at you go. Da, da, da. Da, da, Mario. Oh, we could have had Mario music playing. Ah, oh, <laughs> everything. I don't know. That music's Someday probably pretty copyrighted. <laughs> Might be one of the easily <clears throat> recognizable. Oh my goodness. I do kind of like wearing these gloves. Like having your nails done is one type of like fancy <laughs> fancy. And then having these gloves on is like, it's like elevated the whole thing. Yeah. I made a couple TikToks before I remembered gloves exist. And so I think there's like one or two with me with no gloves on. And then we bought the gloves really last minute. Most stores were out. You had to go to like a different store, the whole thing. But they really elevate the costume. I think they really make it. And I'm, I'm going to just vogue over here <laughs> with, my, with my gloves. <sighs> we just keep getting stony? Yeah, I think so. Fluff up my sleeves a little bit. Fluff them up. Fluff them up. Okay. <laughs> Also, no one's asked, but let me just say, this look is actually an apron, and this is like a fluff shawl. Like, this is just string. I'm not going to show you. But this is just like, it's, I'm, ugh. It's not one piece. It's not one piece, and it's actually not even like 360. Like, it's 
one of my favorite costumes because it's so comfortable. If I was in the full dress, it'd be way hot. It'd be way different. And this is so easy to take on and off. It's literally just an A-frame. Like, so about it. Um, I looked on Etsy for my costume. We got his jeans from a local, like, vintage costume slash, like, resale shop. Um, I really, for Halloween, it's like I always want to buy as much, like, small business or handmade yeah. as possible, even if and I'm honestly, not Honestly, these, like, I don't know if anybody ever even wore these. I was thinking they that, too. They're so, so blue. blue and, like... They still feel like kind of stiff, like you know they've only been washed a couple of times. What if they're like dead stock, like they were it's found possible. somewhere and then just like they ended up in a resale shop? Yeah, but it made me think that I probably haven't worn overalls since I was like ten years old. They're pretty comfortable. Pretty Not comfortable, cool. yeah. Pretty comfortable. You can become an overall kind of guy. Maybe. I mean, I think they're really comfortable. I like <laughs> them. I wear them during the summer. You don't have to worry about a belt. Your pants are gonna fall off. I have hips, it's so legit. it's not a thing that... It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so I didn't want to buy, like, just a store-bought peach. I really wanted to find, as best I could, even if I wasn't going to make it, small made. But then when I was looking on Etsy, there wasn't one thing that all pulled together. Like, mm -hmm. I really... So I ordered them separate. I'm super excited with how it all pulled together. Like, the tool and everything matches all the pieces. Um, it really it came together. I don't have the names off the top of my head, but if you search like Peach Mario or Women Peach on Etsy instead of Kids Peach, a lot of kids' costumes pull up, and that made me a little embarrassed and realized maybe we're doing kids' costumes. I don't care. We look really fucking cute. Um, but yeah, I did have to search specifically for adult costumes, and then I found these this this combination. And then the crown, I know it's like two seconds of effort, but I, I'm going to show it off. I actually painted in these little indentations so that they matched peach. And first I did them all blue, and then I realized that's not all blue, and I had to fix that one in the center. It got really messy. Far away is probably better for the crown. But I'm really excited with how that actually pulled together, too, because it's like, it looks surprisingly like Chris for just being yeah. a random crown. Came together nice. I'm going to get makeup on my gloves, but i to fix some things. Okay. Should we smoke some more pot? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. For those that don't know, I quit caffeine a couple of years ago for the most part. And then I brought back caffeine, if you haven't noticed, um, a couple of months ago. And I just got to say, iced tea caffeine is like my favorite source. I just, I feel better with it. It's such a minor thing, but part of being a conscious, like, conscientious cannabis consumer is I try to be conscientious of, like, any mind-altering drug that I take or any substance that I consume. And so quitting caffeine was something that was pretty important to me. But it, like, came accidentally because I was just quitting soda. I wanted to quit soda. And through doing that, I quit caffeine and then was like, holy shit, what have I done, like, three years into it, four years into it? So... We talked about it on Patreon, but I don't know. We haven't mentioned it here. I have worked caffeine back into my system in a manageable way. And your caffeine's coming from green tea now. Green tea Just caffeine specific. instead of soda. And I've also actually worked soda in in a manageable way. Like, I used to be soda every day, all day, addicted to it. Like, don't even – I'm not even saying that lightly. Um, but I now, <coughs> like, will get it sometimes if we're not able to get – my usual source of caffeine, I'll have a Coke or a Pepsi, and when I do get cranky and want it the next day, I don't actually go and get it every single day. Soda is very powerful. If y'all haven't actually spent some time thinking about your soda consumption, let me be the, the one to click that button for you. Um, so it's weirdly addictive, it's weirdly addictive, but I am really glad that for the most part I have kicked the habit, and now I can just have it if we're out at a restaurant or whatever, like it's not that bad. I used to think it was all or nothing. I came from a very um, abstinence-based type of substance mentality, and it's just really exciting to reach a place where maybe that's not always the only route, you know? I'm a big fan of caffeine, but primarily in coffee form. I'm definitely. You are, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I like when we're traveling, that's something that we still want to make sure that we get is coffee. Yeah. 
I definitely do <coughs> seek out coffee even when we're traveling. I've like got my eyes out for either a local coffee shop or some hotels like in their like bar offer coffee. Yeah. But I've never been a coffee drinker. Yeah, I've been drinking coffee since I was like four or five. I think that's part of the needing <laughs> to drink coffee still. Probably. <laughs> But my family grew up really coffee-centric, too, so it was, like, a huge thing. Um, but I just never – I respectfully tried coffee while living in Seattle because, like, hi, Starbucks. Um, it was a culture thing there, and I didn't want to seem like I didn't care about their culture. If you live in Seattle and you're like, that's not our culture, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to misrepresent you all, but it was a big deal where I lived. And so I did try a couple different combinations, and all of them made me very sweaty, um, very red in the face, and my brain goes fast. Like, I don't, like, I feel like that type of, like, I never experienced the the mental benefits of coffee because I was dying in the physical negatives. <laughs> I was always just hot and sweaty, and, like, I can I can pet myself up sometimes without caffeine, so I didn't necessarily feel it was worth the sweaty redness of yeah. my existence. Um, and I don't get that way on iced tea at all. I don't think that has happened. Or soda. That hasn't really happened. So I tried it a couple times in Seattle, and then when I was waitressing in San Francisco, I would pour in a pint glass, I would pour like a two inch bit of coffee and then make chocolate milk around that and even that would get me really sweaty and really red but at least i would have like a little pep in the mornings like at least that would give me like a little bit of something yeah. but people would be like that's not even enough coffee to like do anything because it's like a third <laughs> of a cup of regular coffee and i'd be like you don't know what's happening here, okay <laughs> so i don't know coffee's just one of those things just one of those things yeah you love know. it you'll have like I've 10 always, shot espresso yeah. i've always loved it i I think most kids don't like the taste of coffee and it keeps them from drinking it. I always wanted to drink my mom's Ooh. coffee or my mom's black tea. And so I feel like I was in on the caffeine <laughs> as a kid. And I feel like now I have more gone from like a brewed coffee to espresso drinks. And I'll sometimes even drink black coffee if it's just coffee. I feel like as a kid or growing up, I would have like, uh, that's no go. Coffee's weird. Caffeine's it gets you going. weird. It does get me going. <laughs> Wakes them up. I am one of those, this might be too much information, but I wake up like that. Like, I wake up, I wouldn't want to caffeinate myself upon wake up. Um, I am awake. Uh, within the first 10 minutes of being awake, I have identified 10 things that I need to fix that, or Mio needs to fix. Like, I wake up fucking mid go. work day. Let's fucking do this shit. By about 10 <laughs> to noon is where I'm like, oh, I should have iced tea because now there's going to be, like, the midday. Mm -hmm. That's where I start to actually go and have, like, my drug use of caffeine. Um, that's what I mean. It is more conscientious this time. I'm not trying to build a routine or a habit around it. Um, everyone has their own interactions with different substances, and I definitely don't have professional experience in guiding anything like that. But for me, I tend to develop patterns and habits really easily and so it's important for me not to associate substances with my habits i want to be able to do things with or without a different substance the substance is based on my mood and my feeling not on a routine huh. so that said um yeah i feel like there are days where all of a sudden it's like 12 30 and i'm like oh i didn't have my tea yet that's why i'm like sitting on the couch so tired so i have found that i even forget to have it it's not something i'm like habitually waiting till 11 o'clock and I'm allowed to have it or something like that you know um, and that just really tends to work for me so I really have been enjoying adding caffeine back into my routine and when I first started a lot of my blogging I was super high on caffeine like really really energized to an unhealthy point people would accuse me of using other drugs there was never any dr other drug use on my channel it was literally just caffeine and <coughs> cannabis um, but I do feel like now that I have found a way to manage and incorporate caffeine back into my life, I found a lot more creative bursts again. I have the energy to do some of the things that I'm thinking about. I have the energy to kind of finish some different things. And I do feel like there's been a positive influence in my life since I brought back caffeine. 
so I don't know if anyone else thinks about every little substance like that um but I came from a substance abuse aware household there's a lot of conversations around substance abuse and caffeine one you can die on it you can literally die if you have pure caffeine and too much of it like the powder you can just die so it's something that has always like blown my mind that kids can buy it that it's readily available that there's to my knowledge in the general population there's not a lot of conversation of don't have too much this is what can happen um these are all things i kind of had to research and learn because i was concerned with how it was working in my body and everything so it's crazy <laughs> and I really also want to acknowledge that we are talking about two different things when we talk about soda and caffeine soda itself someone did mention the corn syrup specifically yeah. there are so many reasons soda can be something to take a minute and look at and hello we are not trying to preach to y'all like I said I drank so much fucking soda like I would never listen to someone telling me don't drink soda what I'm saying is if you haven't ever thought about it if you don't know just know what you're putting into your body that's what started my whole journey is like, I just want to know what's going on. I liked how it made me feel, so I want to know what's going on. Um, I didn't like how it hurt my teeth. I didn't like how it made me feel when I didn't have it. Huh. Anyway, so soda is this whole issue, and then caffeine addiction is its all its issue. There's a lot of overlap for someone like me with the experience I had, but there may be just one or the other, too. You really, it's like, there's a whole world of experiences out there. Um, I'm really loving this like light burst that's coming through the window. I don't know if they can see it on camera, but it like makes some things glowy for a second. Got a little shine. I love it. Oh, someone's mentioning a great book. This is Your Mind on Plants by Michael Pollan, which I think is just such a great name. It sounds like Pollan, like Michael Pollan, plants, pollen. Ah, so great. Um, but he has another book that's actually about like, I think the four plants that change the world or something like that he has been a resource on plant and human evolution and psychology and that type of thing for a while so i haven't read his book this is your mind on plants but the comment is saying that they have a very good section on caffeine and i definitely would be interested in that for sure yeah it sounds <clears throat> like something i would read yeah and it was cannabis's interaction with the brain that really took it to the next level for me with my like urgency to learn more about it i knew i liked smoking weed but it's really when i started reading about how it actually interacts with the brain that i was like holy shit like something's happening yeah it's not just like oh this is fun and i like it like it's doing something in my brain so that whole um world of science is really interesting and really compelling to me and it can really fill in sometimes a lot of gaps when you experience something and you're not sure why your brain chemistry might be involved <laughs> Are we smoking more? I think we're smoking more. We're smoking more. Yay. And then I feel like we have to do at least one or two TikToks, like, dressed up like this, because, oh, my God, we are going to put the costume on again later. I don't think I'm going to do the makeup when we go trick-or-treating. <laughs> we are going to wear it later to, it's we're not trick-or-treating, be but we're going to go with mask. your little brother. Yeah, we're going to have face masks on. <gasps> okay, so we're going to do TikToks while we're in costume this time. I bring it up because I wanted to ask y'all, what sounds should we use? Like, I have searched and I've looked for the Mario sounds, and those were fun, and we did those. Well, I did those. We did one together. But are there any, like, sounds where we should, like, voice over something? Like, oh, what should we do? So we're in costume right now. I want to record a couple before we are uncostumized. You're not even on TikTok, so you can't even help me. And I'm supposed to be creative director, <laughs> producer, I'm like, trend scout. Talent like fucking editor i love it <laughs> but if anyone else out there has some ideas of what sounds we should use while dressed up as mario and peach i think it'd be really awesome i wonder if there's a sound about hitting the power up or whatever because i have noticed i have noticed pumpkin bongs haven't been flagged on tiktok they don't the almighty algorithm of tiktok doesn't recognize this so I feel like if we took this out, especially, yep. and we were just like, something, 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 bloop, bloop, and then no exhale, though. A lot of exhale videos have been getting taken down. So I used to feel confident with an exhale. I think I would just put the smoke filter on us and then be like, bloop, bloop, bloop. But I don't know what the bloops should be or the bleeps. So that's where we're at. Um, 
side note, if you don't follow me on TikTok yet, go follow me on TikTok. I am Coralfish19 and Coral's Tiny World with some punctuation in that one. You'll find me. It's a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun over there. It reminds me of the beginning of YouTube days. It reminds me of showing things big and small, having ideas that are about your daily life as well as really big artistic concepts and just everything in between. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to post it. And I really... There are a lot of people that are like, rah, 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 TikTok. Fuck them. I have a great time over there. And if you want to have a great time, come join, hang out. You've been having fun over there. So much fun. When my accounts were shut down, I am embarrassed by how sad I was. <laughs> Honestly, more of a problem than on other networks. When other networks were shut down, I wasn't receiving as much of a good time. I wasn't getting as much from the content I could cruise on those networks. I was only using them to share. Whereas on TikTok, I have fun just searching, just watching the videos, just seeing what other people post. It's such a fun environment. I love it. Train your for you page to be fun. Um, and yeah, when my accounts were shut down, I genuinely was like, I miss just, if I start a new account, I got a new for you page. It doesn't even know what I think is funny and I got to retrain. That was really a bummer. So yeah, it actually was a lot of fun. Thanks for noticing. You should get on it. Okay. We'll see. Oh my gosh. We have such long time reefers here. Thank you so much for joining. Oh my gosh. This toke is for everyone. I am so amazed that y'all are here and getting stony with us for all this time. Um, let's power up and get really stoned. I'm really excited to bring Stony Sundays back for the second Sundays of the month starting in November. For the last like year and a half, they've been only private on Patreon, which the access was low. It was a $1 a month you could join the streams. But I know for some people signing up for any new network itself is going to be a huge barrier and they'll just never join. So, well, we did have a really good time over there with our smaller, more kind of like intimate conversations. Um, I'm really excited to bring it back to all the reefers that do want to join us with or without any other membership on any other page. Well, always without, because I don't have a Patreon anymore. Um, but you can just watch on YouTube and Facebook. Every second Sunday, we'll be joined. We'll be getting super, super stoned. And um, I'm just excited. It's kind of like the next generation, yeah. I think. The next, like there's not a season. <laughs> it's just, we're just living. But yeah, it's like the next, the next move. Evolution. The next evolution. Um, it was pre-recorded for a while, and then it was live streamed pretty poor quality for a number of years. Then it was live streamed better quality. Then it was private. There's also been some just it wasn't at all times. <coughs> but I'm really excited for this next generation, next evolution of once a month big party live stream. We're gonna talk cannabis news, cannabis updates, cannabis questions. Like, instead of spreading out over the whole month and taking an entire hour of your weekend every single weekend, let's just compact it down into one one sesh. Yeah, plan for it. Yeah. Be prepared. Yeah. yeah. Get super high. Yeah, <laughs> that part is like number one on the list. I do want to say, if you ever have any questions about cannabis laws, cannabis news stories that are happening, we love to try and share our perspectives or ask for more perspectives on a wider audience. And we can kind of bring some of the stories that you might be reading to our live streams, have conversations about them, get information from the comments, get other ideas and perspectives. Um, so as you guys are out there, as you guys, gals, non-binary people, as y'all are living come back and bring it to every second Sunday sesh and hang out and tell us what's going on in cannabis and the world around you and we can talk pot. I think that'll be really fun. I think so. Is there anything we want to talk pot before? I think we got to repack and call it a wrap pretty soon. You need another, you need to repack? Yeah, I'm going to finish this one and then I need a repack. Okay. This one, this can't be the final bowl. <laughs> this can't. I'll let you finish because mine's still like 75% good. Mine was like 25%, and then that was it, so That's it. we pop. Pray please. Also, I don't know if we introduced her last week or if she was here, but this is our pink princess, 
and she's a new guest in the house, a new a new resident. Um, and I kind of like that I am Princess Peach, and I got a pink princess this month. And I feel like, I mean, you got it as a gift for me in general, but I, I am going to count it as a Halloween gift. <laughs> and awesome. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> For my Halloween gift plant. <laughs> New tradition, everyone out there. If you didn't get a Halloween gift plant this year, they don't love you. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> no, we came across this plant. go treat yourself to a new plant. Yeah, they're a treat. Go get a treat. Um, <laughs> no, really, we saw this plant. It is a pink princess, but it's maybe reverted back to a red Congo, I think it is. So then it would not have pink. But there are pink spots on it. I have seen, well, I can't show you all, of course off the top of my head but there are pink spots on it i think there's still a chance i'm gonna use my pink princess peach energy to like channel it and i really feel like we're gonna get some pink on the new leaves i really feel like it okay will you turn on your phone one more time pretty please for these goodbye tokes let's click it with my toe again toe clicking also if you haven't joined my only fans and hearing me click things with my toe is interesting to you I will tell you, I take a lot of my only family, only family, only fans pictures clicking with my toes and y'all wouldn't even know. So if that's something you're into, we could do more of that. Anyway, okay, Princess Peach. I was gonna put it in a different spot okay. this time. I was gonna switch it up so then it's like, we'll have options. Oh yeah, and less table than this one. Nice. Okay, I gotta bring this over here. Bring this over here, okay. Oh, we are dressed up. We are looking so cute. I actually want to dress like a princess like a lot <laughs> and I just need to know what type of environments we can be in that this is oh, oh don't it lose really your crown. looks so bad without the crown like this looks weird this looks adorable oh my god I freaking love it I just can't get it to stay because it's a cheap crown okay 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 back in we're back in dun 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 I either want to dress like no one can perceive me and I'm either naked or in one t-shirt or like this. Yeah. That's fair. Whatever job. I think I'm kind of living it right now, actually, <laughs> and I'm going to keep going. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Are we good? I think so. Okay. Thanks for joining us, y'all, for Stony Sunday. We're going to take these tokes and get on out of here. Oh, I'm going to cough. That was a big talk. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, we're calling it a day on today's stream. Thank you for joining us. I look forward to seeing you all with Mio in a couple of weeks on the second Sunday of November. We will be getting some Mario Karts. I think that's a cute pun, too. I love that. that um, and we will be in costume the rest of the day. You're not changing, I've decided. <laughs> okay, I got my glove off because we are calling it a wrap. Thank you for joining us. I hope everyone has a really good rest of your Halloween if you are celebrating and a really safe 